This is the Burnout Restaurant, and Marco Pierre White is in charge. The kitchen has got to be one of the toughest places in the world. On order for lamb. Each week, he'll push celebrities to the limits. Go, 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 go. Under pressure. Do you light the stove before Mark blows us up? How long for one cod? I don't know. Don't lie to me. It looks like a train crash. I'm dead. They must create their own menu. What the hell am I doing? Disgusting. And cook their own dishes. Delicious. They can beg for Marco's help. Now, do you want time or Yes, not? yes, I'm buying time. But it comes at a price. You want my time? Oh, I'd really love some help, please. The one thing they should do is listen to me. The diners score them, and Marco judges them. I have never worked with anyone so dangerous. And knocks the weakest out of the competition. This week, it's Heat 3. Comedian Jason Byrne. If I burn something, Marco will probably punch me with a ladle. If that happened to me in the restaurant, I'd go nuts. Actress Deborah Stevenson. I am wondering what have I let myself in for. I think I've had enough of this now. And socialite Girl. Nancy Delolio. I find myself to be quite a bit anxious. One pork, one kidney, one pork, one kidney. I'm going to speak with my therapist, for sure. Who will go through to the next heat? And who will face kitchen burnout? A busy night for the restaurants of North London. On order, one pied de cochon. And in the burnout kitchen, Marco is running a tight ship. Cooking's all about one thing, being incredibly honest with yourself, with your food. In just three days at this restaurant, it will be these three celebrities standing in the kitchen, cooking for the diners completely on their own. Hands off my pass. So can I ask you all a very simple question? You think you've got what it takes to feed people well? It remains to be seen. I'll try my best. That's what I'll do. You do, don't you, Nancy? Mm -hmm. I'm ready to do so. How long for three salmon, two cod, one liver? Am I calm? No. How many more pieces of fish do you think you could get in that pan? Am I nervous? Yes. And it's medium rare. Am I looking forward to it? Absolutely not. How long? Five minutes, five minutes, six minutes, seven minutes, half an hour? I'm just going to put sacked on my head. Service, 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 service. Very nervous. Not only because it's a game, it's a test. Let me see those plates. Come here. I'm quite sure that I'm going to learn something from this experience, learn something from him. They're big breasts, they're big breasted birds. He's got this very penetrating glare. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I mean, I always knew that it was going to be a challenge. Seven steak, yes. Probably even more daunting now than it did before. The celebrities have been summoned to Marco's challenge. He's invited boxing legend Barry McGuigan and 15 of his boxing friends for lunch. Where's Michael? Where is he? Is he in this car? <laughs> Do you have a cook, Nancy? No, sometimes, no. yes. I, I use a special, a professional cooker. Yes. Oh, yeah, yes. that's good. What, for dinner parties? Oh, for dinner yes. parties, yes. I just hope it's not too fiddly, this challenge. If it's this, then we're going to be in trouble. Marco will judge them in the cooking challenge. <clears throat> the celebrity who performs the best will win a huge advantage when they get to the burnout restaurant on day two. But first, they meet Barry who drops a bombshell. Thank you very much. Listen, it's I've, I've got here. good news and bad news. Tell me. The good news, I'm delighted to be here. The bad news is we've got two extra people. Oh, that's their problem, not mine, Barry. Well, we've got David Hay, world heavyweight champion. Yeah. Six foot three. Jesus. Lean muscle mass, powerhouse. And we've got Amy O'Kan, who oh, is the world yeah. light welterweight champion, an absolute sweetheart. So he's out there. So well, if you want to have an argument, argue with him. The contestants are now cooking for 17 hungry boxers. Two of them are world champions. So if we get this wrong, we'll just have to run really fast. Round one, the main course. Deborah will be responsible for the steak with oysters. To keep all the juice, just let it drop out. There you are, good luck. Jason, the Dover sole with cucumber balls. No, don't, you don't peel a cucumber like that. Oh. Throw that cucumber away. Do you do those? Did those, did you? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> and on the halibut, Nancy Delolio. Put in like so, but create space around them so they can cook. Don't stack them on top of each other. Nancy, in you go. Don't cook with a watch. Use time as a guide. 
Jason and Deborah are struggling in front of the stove. Come on, it's not that difficult. What you want is that fish to release off the bone. You can see it's not released, you see it's not cooked. I don't know where to put it. In the middle, on the edge. Quickly, yep. quickly, 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 quickly. Oh, Why do you no, want to work like this? Mess. Take a little pride in what you do. Yeah, of course, that was terribly sloppy. Nancy is last to serve her meals. Marco! I think it's, they are definitely ready. That's ready, yeah, it's all fixed. Get on the plates, get on the plates, Nancy. Well done, Nancy. Steak. Enjoy. It certainly looked like a meal fit for a boxer, and uh, yeah, I think it, I think it went down quite well on it. I don't know what I'm doing with this. Right. Then hide all your mistakes with some nice herbs. Is it good? Yeah. yeah. We're still waiting for Hollywood. The faces of satisfaction. I could get used to this. World heavyweight champion David Hay is impressed. Good. Uh, the dough was sold, polished that off, big style, and the halibut. I think it was so good, I could just keep eating. You still have dessert, yeah, but it's not going to be hot, is it? Like, oh, I don't know, actually. <laughs> Round two, dessert. Vanilla ice cream, poached pear. Fresh mint, sprinkle with the nougatine, serve with chocolate sauce. Go, Nancy, go! Pears, 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 okay. pears. What am I doing? If you didn't talk, you might move quicker. Deborah decides to leave the chocolate separate on her desserts. That's very clever, I like that. Whilst Nancy and Jason have other ideas. Well done, Nancy. The Jason, he likes a bit of ice cream with his chocolate. Oh, God, the poor boxers. A... Just serve it, Jason. Jason, just serve it. Oh, it looks terrible. Well, it's all melting. It's a bit late to rectify it, isn't it? Jason, you're faffing around. If you're going to be like this when you've got to cook 25 main courses, trust me, you will go down. Is it vanilla ice cream with yeah. uh, chocolate? Is it clear? You can see very yeah. well. Yeah. Is that mint? So, do you say cement? Yes, it's mint. Mint. Oh, mint. Mint. Oh, yeah. mint. Don't be difficult. Don't be, don't be difficult. No, no okay. it won't be difficult. It's lovely. <laughs> Well, for me, I mean, I've seen desserts in restaurants and mine was a disaster. I think that Debbie's idea of bringing the chocolate sauce out was probably the best thing to do. Because <laughs> no, no, no. presentation out there, no, do you no, think no, it was okay. good? The presentation was much better with the chocolate sauce on the top. It was delicious. The chocolate was very rich. Yeah, very you think? Yeah, very strong. And um, the ice cream wasn't too bad. But the pear, I, think, I don't know if they put that in accidentally, but... <laughs> <laughs> I hope they looked after you. It's now time to find out who has impressed Marco the most. The winner will benefit when they get to the burnout kitchen. Nancy, Jason, Deborah. This is the moment. I have to make a decision. I have to choose a winner and a loser. So the winner is Nancy, because you had a go. I'm surprised, but, but thank you. Now, I have to choose a loser. And trust me, this is tough. And what made you lose, Jason? <laughs> was the amount of chocolate sauce you put oh. in your pair. So, Jason. Yes. Tomorrow, you'll pay your price. <laughs> Nancy, you'll be rewarded. Oh, you can love it's them. been a pleasure cooking with you. Thank you, Good sir. Good night. I'm very pleased that I'm the winner for today. I thought, oh, I'll come second. You know, it's between me and Deb, I'll be all right. And then I lose because of too much chocolate. How many women out there right now are going, oh, that's not fair? Today, the competition goes up a level as the celebrities will design their menus. In just 48 hours, they'll be serving them to 25 hungry diners each. When I first walked into the restaurant today, for the first time, I just felt a little butterfly in my tummy and I thought, oh, this is it. I think fine, but a bit nervous, but I don't need to turn to us. The day before service, uh, 25 people to serve tomorrow. I'm terrified. Welcome. Hi, Marco. Thanks. Hello. <laughs> to my torture chamber. Oh, <laughs> God. This is where you're going to spend the next 48 hours inflicting great pain on yourselves. Trust me. Outside the restaurant, awaiting them, is the burnout food truck. Their larder on wheels. 
They're about to pick the ingredients. What they choose is crucial. It could put them ahead in the game. Nancy's reward for winning the challenge means she gets the benefit of going first in the truck. You're first, Nancy. You're okay. second, Deborah. And Jason, you're last in the truck. Please be understanding. There's not enough of everything. It is a competition. And by the time you get in the truck, Jason, mm -hmm. you will know how competitive they are. Evil women. Good luck. Celebrities have just five minutes in the truck to come up with a menu of three main courses. They must choose between chicken, skate, sea bream, veal kidneys or pork. Nancy, five minutes starting from now. OK. OK. Good luck. Thank you. Nancy heads straight for the herbs and vegetables. One minute gone, Nancy. I can't see any tomato sauce. OK. Then on to the meats. Her first choice is veal kidneys. Oh, kill me. Which are quick to cook. Pork. Two minutes, Nancy. As well as the veal and pork, skate. Oh, thank you. You've got four more portions of fish or meat to get, Nancy. 30 seconds left. Stop. Time up. Okay. Well done, okay. Nancy. You did rather well, that. I don't know. I miss it, things. Nancy has taken most of the pork and kidneys and some of the skate. Well, I don't panic easily, uh, easily no, but trying to think about all the ingredients you need is a pressure. Deborah is next in the food truck. You have five minutes. Good luck. Go right there. Yeah. God, I'm going to get sea bream. And I want to do, I think, 12. One, two, three, four, five. She sweeps up the sea bream and some of the chicken. Chicken, one, two, three, nine, ten, which means I've got 24, doesn't it? Everyone likes chicken. And she polishes off the rest of the veal kidneys. I'm just going to have to learn how to cook these. I wasn't really planning on kidneys. I want some lemons and I need some garlic. What? And spinach. Got to want some potatoes. Where are the potatoes? Quick, 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 quick. Potatoes! Oh, 30 potatoes. seconds left, Deborah. No, it's not a potato. I think I need more fennel. Tomatoes. What would go with kidneys? Beetroot? A bit of Thai, maybe. Five, four, three, oh, two, on. okay, one. It's fine, except I didn't get any potatoes. Right there by your feet. Oh, They're no. They're quite large. That's that thing about panicking and not looking properly. Well, that's one less job to do, isn't it? Deborah has taken the sea bream, the chicken, and the rest of the veal kidneys. There's a lot here. I just think I've got to cook all this food, all in 90 minutes. I don't know what I'm going to do with the bream, because I've never cooked it before. And I don't know if I'm going to have to fillet it, or dehead it, or whether I'm just going to serve it whole. Jason's three main courses will have to be chicken, sea bream, and skate. Off we go. OK. Yeah. OK, fish and meat, fish and meat. Oh, my God. Chicken breast. Six. Nine, nine, ten. Well, it's going to be chicken breast. They've, they've let me know. Oh, my God, what fish is... I'm going to go for this fish here. That's fish, that's skate. OK, that's eight, nine, okay, eight, nine ten. Oh, I've got to go for this as well. Oh, no, wait, I've got chicken breast. I've got... No, I've got to get these as well. That's all that's left is my three courses. Move it. One minute has gone. OK, right. Deborah, okay. Unlike Deborah, Jason stockpiles the potatoes. I'm going to try and make steak and onion and mushrooms. You've got no steak. I, oh, no, I've got no steak! OK, there's a bit more lemons there. OK, yeah, taking these. Oh, here, I'm just, just taking them, just taking them all. What am I going to do? I've got two fish dishes, two fishes and a chicken. My God, what am I going to do? My God, no! <laughs> you have 60 seconds left. OK, OK. Uh, oh! No! <laughs> my cucumbers! 
for my little ball to go with the fish. Ring. Ten seconds left, Jason. Okay, ten seconds. Five, four, three, <laughs> two, <Jim>. one. <laughs> Time up. Oh, well done. I was going to at least get like um, one, you know, two different meats on a fish dish, but I'm left with two fish. Uh, let's see now. I've got skate. Yeah, I have an idea what to do with that. Sea bream. Look at that, it's a whole fish. I've never even cooked a whole fish in my life. I think Nance did quite well. The way she gathered things, she seemed to have a plan in mind. She took a lot of aubergines and tomatoes. She took the right herbs that she wanted. So I think she, her food's going to be quite Italian. I don't think Deborah's too bad a cook, really. I think she, the plan she's adopted is that of simplicity. So let's hope she can create a strategy for the service, because that's where it tends to all go wrong. Woo! Jason, in his mind, had steak, that there was no steak. And so then he started to panic a little bit. But I think he's got a plan, and I think he will stick to that plan. But what I like is they all take lots of herbs now to hide their mistakes. They think it will save them. But trust me, it won't. Our celebrities must now design and prepare their three main courses. Marco will taste and critique each dish. I'd really love some help with just knowing how to cut the chicken, because, um, please. Oh, God. I really need them to help me bash me chicken. Whilst Deborah and Jason are struggling to get Marco's attention, Nancy is on fire. Wow, it was me? Why well, was oil? No, no, it was not me. It was a left a bottle of oil that goes there. Oof. No, 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 it was not me. No, it was not me. I didn't put it. That's quite shocking. Marco's not just tasting the food. He's also judging how it looks on the plate. His advice is crucial because tomorrow night they'll be serving the dishes up to diners who'll be marking their efforts. Do you know what? This is great fun when you can't cook. It's judgment time for Jason. First up is Thai style sea bream. Oh, you just cut that fine as well. Can you see? Beautifully cooked. Wow. So the, the flesh releases and the bone's still pink. That's perfect. Have dinner. Dinner on Merkel. Thank you. Very nice. Next, Jason presents his grilled chicken with mash. Put some past, put a lot of past on next time. You've got to get more of your herbs, Am. Yeah. A breast of chicken with some lumpy mash is not going to win the competition for you, is it? Sex it up a bit. Jason's final dish is pan-fried skate presented in the pan. You sure that's cooked? Well, you see, I don't know if it was cooked because I, I just... <sighs> Tomorrow, they're eating it, and if it's not cooked, what are they going to do? No point. Send it back. Send it back? And make you cook it again. <laughs> oh, really? The skate is too raw for Marco to taste, a mistake Jason must try not to make in tomorrow's service. You've got less chance of it being sent back if it's overcooked than yes. if it's undercooked. OK, then. For me, with Marco's philosophy, keep it simple. I haven't got any choice. It's Nancy's turn to present her three dishes. First, her family's recipe for pork milanese. Few too many herbs, Nancy. It's a bit like your hairdo. So we just put a few herbs in. So it's a bit more elegant. Hide your mistakes, can you see? Very good next dish. Fricassee of calf's kidneys is next. I taste it. It's quite nice with the balsamico. Yeah, balsamico, yeah. Balsamico, yeah. And last up, brown skate, minimalist style. The top is nice. See with the capers, it's delicious. You see, because you haven't got enough fat in it, it's not cooking properly. So if you if you shallow fried it in something that deep and got it hot, shh, get a nice caramelization because you haven't got enough fat in your pan. You see, you've scorched it. You see. Okay. Well, that's the meal course. Deborah's dishes are ready, and first in line for Marco's approval is Thai roasted sea bream. Very good. You chose the right ingredients, didn't you? You thought about what you were getting out of the truck here. Thank you. Do you remember, you've got to be generous with the garnish. She's got another side of fish underneath, you see. Next up, Deborah presents her calf's kidneys with wild mushrooms. You cook the kidneys nicely. How quick were they? The kidneys and the vinegar are delicious, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely delicious. Actually. Really good? Yeah. 
That's the best dish I've tasted from any contestant. Oh, wow. Last up is chicken a la Siciliana. Should we try some? Yeah. It's going to be really nice, this. My husband is going to be so pleased. How tender is that chicken? Everything goes so well together. It's like an explosion, isn't it? Very clever of you. These two are here. Look, brilliant. All the stuff going on up there. I look, I look like a takeaway. Surprising what you can do with a bottle, isn't it? Yeah. I think watching the three of them cook, Nancy's food will be tastier than Jason's. I think she's a better cook. This is too tiny. I'm going to use another one. That on the night, Jason will drag himself over that line. I think he'll surprise us all. I think he will struggle, but I think he's a bit of a scrapper. He's got that Dublin grit within him. The three dishes that Debbie prepared for me were the best dishes that I've eaten so far within the competition. Whether they can do it for service is another question. Still smiling. Yeah, nervous smiles. So, this evening, you will cook for 25 people each. I think some of you may struggle. But firstly, you have your preparation and you have three hours to do it. Good luck. Okay. It's a good start, Nancy. It's a good start. Are you so famous for throwing pans? No, no, no. Absolutely not. Of course, if you're nervous, you never know what's going to happen in the kitchen. The celebrities have finalised their menus. The aubergine are the side dish for the, for the pork Milanese. This is a dish you do when you really love. <laughs> Nancy's three mains are pork Milanese with aubergine parmigiana, skate, now served with butter beans, tomatoes and fresh basil, and calves' kidneys with balotti beans and balsamic. If I had a hammer, I'd hammer in the morning. <laughs> are you enjoying this? If I start off feeling positive, I'm likely to have a much better time than if I start off feeling absolutely terrified. I think I've had enough of this now. Deborah's mains are a choice of Thai roasted sea bream, chicken a la Siciliana with fennel, lemon and olive oil, and veal kidney with wild mushrooms and balsamic dressing. I have now taken over the whole grill. If anybody else wants to use it, they can't. Excuse me. Excuse me. Oh, How many chicken? How many chicken do you have? Fifteen. How many rashes of bacon do you have? I have no idea of the pressure that's ahead of me. This is our first time ever serving 25 people all, all at one go, so that's, this is going to be such a challenge. If you turn the grill on, it would help. Oh, wasn't that on? Oh, I actually did think that was on. Jason's menu is grilled chicken with olive mash, pan-fried skate with cucumber and celery dressing, and Thai-style sea bream. You're walking around doing nothing. <laughs> hey, how's the Countess finished already? That's not fair. Well, our, our worker. The burnout restaurant doors are about to open. The celebrities will have 90 minutes to feed 25 people each. Your victims are arriving. Tonight, the diners will mark the celebrities' food. Maximum score each is 100 points. Jason, Deborah, Nancy, I'd like a little chat with you all. During service, the celebrities can ask for Marco's help, but they'll have to pay for it. You can buy my time. One point per minute. Every minute he spends with them will cost one point from their final scores. Points are crucial because the one with the most automatically wins a place in the semi-final. I can cook, I can give advice, I can help dress. I can get you out of trouble. Marco also has a last-minute addition to the menu, a starter of leek and potato soup served with a poached egg. Can't serve any main courses until you've served your soup. Soup's easy, isn't it? Not really. Not with a poached egg. No. Are you ready for this evening's service? Yeah, I'm yes. I'm more confused with the soup. 
This, to me now, is, is a load of extra work. It's not fair. <laughs> you know what I mean? All I can see in my head is main courses, main courses, and this has happened. All happy to start with soup? The waiters are taking the orders. When Marco calls the first ticket out, the 90 minutes will begin. First order. Six soup on order. Yes. While the celebrities tackle Marco's soup starter, well done. the diners are revving themselves up for some celebrity nosh. It's really nice, actually. I'm quite excited about the Thai sea food. It sounds very, very Nancy. Deborah's menu looks really good. Uh, uh, so nice. Yummy, yummy. Five soup, Nancy. Nancy, five soup. Yes, okay, Marco. Yes, Marco. Yes, Marco. On order. Five soup, Deborah. Jason, two soup, Jason. Here it comes. Here it comes, Marco. Why don't you shout at your waiter? Scream at them, Nancy. Tell them go, 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 go. The quicker you move oh, them, yes. the quicker they work for you. Yeah. Use these are two soup for table five. Two soup, table Mine five. Two. two soup, table five. Yes. Nancy, you're buying time or yes. not? Yes, I'm buying time. You've always been, ex you've always been extravagant. <sighs> yes, I am extravagant. Yeah, go. Nancy is the first to buy minutes of Marco's time to help get the soup out. Can I buy a minute yes. of your time, please? Yes. Closely followed by Deborah. Don't you think your soup would heat? Quicker in a broader pan. It yes. would, wouldn't it? No, that one. Use that one there. Quicker, quicker, um, quicker, 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 quicker. Deborah, that's another minute gone of your time, then, okay? Thank you. On all the yellow kitchen. Five soup. Yes, Marco. Let me get my Guess who Marco out. wants to win? Five soup, yeah? Unlike Deborah and Nancy, Jason has the soups under control. Does anyone dare to open the egg? Oh. Really nice. Actually, I'm impressed. <laughs> <laughs> and it's going down well with his diners. OK, that's done then. I'm going to start my main courses. Green kitchen on order, two veal kidneys, one chicken. With soup served, they move on to their main courses. One pork, one kidney, one pork, one kidney, one pork, one kidney, one pork, one kidney. You're helping me with my fork. I can ask you if I'm doing the right thing with the first portion. Nancy, you're buying my time okay. In the red kitchen, Nancy immediately buys more of Marco's time. Put your skating, put your skating, Nancy, put your skating. I'll sell you another minute. You say, hold on, be careful, be careful, Nancy, 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 Nancy. I said, don't move it. But before he can help Nancy cook, Marco deals with another fire. Nancy, I told you not to move yeah. that hand, darling. It's very Nancy. dangerous. Two pork, two kidneys, two skates. Okay. Safety is the most important. Uh, no food coming out. No food. I see you're highlighting it's got no skin. <laughs> I'm trying to hide it. Oh, okay. Come on, hide it. I've heard of Solo the Bream, so to make a mess of any of the Bream, I'm, I'm dead. Jason's sending two C Bream to his first table. Thank you very much. What do you think? All right. <laughs> Let me take it back and see if we can get it cooked some more. Sorry, it was just more inside. I couldn't eat. I couldn't eat it at all. Always work tidily. Service. Just came back from table five. Oh, no. Give him that one. Give him that one. Give him that one. We'll think it very quick. Back. Half an hour of service has gone. You have 60 oh. minutes remaining. What? So far, Nancy has served mains to one out of her six tables. Two skates, three pork, two, two skates, three pork, three pork, three pork. Okay, pork. How long, how long? Chicken. How long, Nancy? Five minutes. Five minutes. Five minutes. Five minutes. Oh, Nancy. Thank you. Thank you. That's impossible. Mark. Jason has also served one of his tables, and he's had some food sent back. OK, you've got four. Oh, no. Deborah has yet to serve any of her mains. Absolutely starving. I might actually start eating the greenery if that's allowed. Sometimes. I'm quite slow and it's a real disadvantage. We're trying to dig your way out, are we? Yeah, they've stuck. It's cooking the sea bream that's causing her trouble. The other two dishes for the first table are ready, but going cold while she cooks the fish. How's my sea bream? How's my sea bream? How's my sea bream? How's my sea bream? Not, re not ready yet. The fish is proving to be the hardest thing, and I thought from yesterday that would be the easiest thing, but it isn't. 45 minutes in, and table one is finally about to be served. Send it, send it, send it. Table one, table one, table one, table one, table one, table one. Chicken? Yes, please. Surprisingly good. Just quite a few bones. <laughs> but it is nice. In the red restaurant, the food's coming out fast, but Nancy's standards are slipping. I don't know what too much salt is meant to do, but. Uh... Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Your fuck. So you can't see more of Remus and then skate back. 
Uh, complaints too salty. Okay, so I, I, I'm going to get to you. Nancy's Nancy, salty Nancy. skate is the least of Marco's worries. Nancy, if you're not careful, yeah. you're going to have a very bad accent, darling. Yeah. Nancy. Yeah, this you're one. You're doing rather to... well. Just think about what you're doing, Nancy. Another fire. Marco assigns his assistant chef, Matt, to keep a special eye on Nancy. The hot oil, no accidents. Nancy, 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 come on. See, yes, Marco. Nancy. See, Marco. Are you cooking that plate, Nancy? Are you cooking that plate, Nancy? Nancy, are you cooking the plate? It's getting hot, Nancy. Come on. I know, I know, I know. Oh, dear me, Nancy. Marco, Marco. Back in the yellow kitchen, Jason is still having trouble cooking his fish. But this time, it's the skate. And I, I can't eat that because I'll probably die. I've had skate twice before, so I know how it should sort of, like, fall off the boat. And there's no falling. It's very much stuck. That's happened quite a few times tonight. No! They need a bit more, actually. Oh, yep. Yeah. Oh, God, these poor people. Oh, <laughs> I'm really sorry. Here, look, give them the ears two more anyway. You go to a lovely restaurant, and it's funny, you don't really notice the fingerprints around the plate. Yes. But plus, it's not cooked. It's not cooked. Have you sent that one extra skate? Have you sent that one extra skate? Have you sent that one extra skate? No, here it comes now. Do you want to buy a minute? Do you want to buy a minute? Do you want to buy a minute? Yes or no? Yes or no? You have to give you some advice. Yes! Put more oil in there. Right. Oh, he forgot that! You've had a minute. He told me that yesterday. He told me that ten times. More oil, more oil. Deborah got off to a slow start, but she's now buying time, hoping to catch up. I'll tell you a minute. Uh, yeah, thanks. Go, 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 go. Thank you. And that's table two. Table two. Thank you. With Marco's help, she overtakes Jason and Nancy. If it tastes anything like it smells, I'm sure it's going to be delicious. Wow. Definitely got a nice little flavour to it. Yeah. One hour has gone. All of the celebrities have bought Marco's time, and with just 30 minutes left of service, Deborah decides to buy some more. There you are, that's another minute, yes? Yeah. Deborah is now racing ahead and has only two out of her six tables left to serve and hasn't had any food returned. Nancy is on her third table and her fourth fire. Nancy, I told you not to move yeah. that hand, darling. It's very dangerous. Jason has also served three tables, but he's had the most plates returned. Two chicken! His sea bream One and bream. skate were uncooked. Surely he's learned his lesson with his chicken. And we realised that um, both our pieces of meat were still raw. We're not too pleased. Yeah. I can yeah. take it back and see if we can get it cooked a little bit more. Yeah. Okay. That's fine, I'll just let him know. <laughs> Sorry about that. Another one from the same table. Oh my god, I must cook them so okay, I'll give them two fresh ones. Yeah, I'm gonna replace it with a fresh chicken. I can't give her that back. If that happened to me in a restaurant, I'd go nuts. Two came back. These are two new are ones. They cook them. Are they cooked? Yes, are they cooked? I'm sure. sure. Why don't you cut them in half and just check? Can I? Yes. And then just call it presentation. Oh yeah, okay. <laughs> just sort of pretend that you're panning it out. There you are. There you are. There you are. There you are, there you are. Look at that. Look at Thank that. You. Lordy. Ooh. Ah, that's oh, that's one. Third knife. Bit tough, that chicken, eh? <laughs> <laughs> what chance have they got with a knife and fork? I don't know. Where would you give them a, a malice? No! Oh, look, wasn't that worth it? And now Nancy's also sending out uncooked food. I don't know if it's meant to look like this in the middle. It doesn't... It, it's quite tough. It doesn't really... It doesn't look like it's quite cooked. One skate coming back, Nancy, undercooked. The diner gets a second skate. So that is definitely not raw. More raw than the last one. We've got the same skate come back again. Same lady. She says she doesn't mind. Returned meals cost precious minutes, and time is running out. Ten minutes left. So cook the things which cook the quickest. You've got ten minutes. Deborah is out in front, while Nancy and Jason are starting to unravel. Gather points. Gather points now. Just throw it at them, Nancy. There are just ten minutes left to serve everybody in Marco's Kitchen Burnout restaurant. Watch your fingers, watch your fingers. Nice, nice, nice. I didn't realise there was cold fish on the menu tonight. Oh! Comedian Jason Byrne. 25 people going home hungry. Actress Deborah Stevenson. Very good comments from the guests. Excellent. <sighs> and socialite Nancy Delolio. I'm going to speak with my therapist, for sure. 
are racing to feed all their tables and gather as many points as possible before time is up. Where's the pork? Where's the pork? Pork is gone. It's gone. The celebrity with the most points automatically goes through to the semi-final. The other two will be at Marco's mercy. Yeah, let's hope they only want a half a portion and they won't look at it in the side. <laughs> Three chicken, one sea bream, one kidneys, Deborah. Yes. Deborah is serving her final table and buys a last minute from Marco. Can I buy a minute of your time, yes. please? It's three chicken, yes. One sea bream, yes. Yeah. Quickly. There you are, put a bit more in them. There you go. Take those chicken, please, Hazel. I've got one chicken, I've got one sea bream. Deborah has finished first. I'm so excited! See some smiling faces out there. It's quite nice. Thank you! Only five minutes left. I can't find my season. Oh, there it is. And Jason still has two tables to serve as so much of his food has been returned. I hope it's still warm. It should be was roasting. Sorry about oh. the wait. Whilst Nancy has just one table to go. You can do it if you hurry up. I don't you have can... any I don't have any um, bonotti. It's finished up. It doesn't matter, just give it and give them lots of herbs, Nancy. Nancy, you can do it, Nancy. Come on! Jason and Nancy need to feed all their diners. Anyone that doesn't get a main course can't give a score. That's the saddest looking aubergine parmesan. It's very different With three minutes to go, Jason puts all the food that he has left on the stove, even though there won't be enough time to finish cooking it. Too late, mate. Is it? You can't get anything out, can you? I'll keep going to the death. Go to the death then, Jason. I not like Come on, Nancy, send it quickly, Dale. Send it quickly. Oh, jeez, that doesn't look done in there. Here, just give and see if they say it might be OK. Marco helps Nancy serve her final dish. That's time up, time up. Oh. I'm really sorry, but Jason's run out of time and there's going to be no more food coming out of the kitchen. Service over. Deborah and Nancy both managed to feed all 25 of their diners, but Jason has only fed 19. But it's exhausting, you know? Just thank God I do stand up for a living. Jason hits the restaurant floor in a last ditch attempt to charm points from his diners. I will try my best to grovel for all of your points. You must have loved my stuff, yeah? Adore it. Adore it! Adore it! <laughs> As loud as you can. What Everyone, was it? The Thai sea bream was amazing. Yeah. Look at this. <laughs> that looks like I was to get back into the water. <laughs> Did you get anything? I, I got, I got this isn't even stained. In the restaurant, the diners fill in their scorecards. The maximum score is 100. It's delicious, actually. A little bit oily, but uh, it's, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. Ordered skate. Um, I feel it's a bit undercooked. Yeah, no, that is. That's worth coming to the restaurant for. Absolutely glorious. Lovely sauce, lovely flavours. Really, really impressed. It's very, very nice. It is very nice. The scores are in. The celebrity with the most points will automatically go through to the semi final. The other two are at Marco's mercy. Well done. How was it? Oh, well, definitely I'm not going to open a restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> I have a problem with the fire. Quite dangerous. <laughs> Deborah, how was it for you? Torturous. As I promised. Jason. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> That's, that's my yellow fans in the background. Yeah. <laughs> they may not have all been fed. <laughs> they, they're still alive. <laughs> so the time has come to reveal the scores. Deborah, you scored 73 points. Whoa. But you bought eight minutes of my time. Oh. <laughs> so after the deductions, mm. you scored 65 out of 100. Okay. Still good. <laughs> so, Deborah, oh, that makes you the winner. Yeah. This means that you progressed to the semi final. It 
it was quite difficult to keep my cool and I needed to buy some of Marco's time. So um, yeah, I'm kind of really surprised about the way that things have turned out. It's now up to Marco to decide who will join Deborah and who will face kitchen burnout. Nancy, <gasps> you scored 41 points. <laughs> but you bought six minutes of my time. Mm -hmm. So your total score out of 100 was 35 points. So good. <laughs> How nice surprise. Jason. Yes? You scored 48 points. 48? <laughs> but you did buy five minutes of my time. So your total score was mm. 43. But I never allow the obvious to blind me. I saw what went on in that kitchen tonight. I know that Nancy had four main courses returned. Mm -hmm. But you did feed everybody. I, tried. I know that Jason had eight main courses. <laughs> <laughs> and didn't succeed in feeding everybody. Oh, sorry. <laughs> so his charm one of the points. <laughs> it's a very tough decision. Nancy, in all my years of cooking, I have never worked with anyone so dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like a little bit more fear instilled in my life. No. Nancy, you are going to stay with me. Oh. Please. Oh. Yeah. For the semi-final, I'm going to explore the kitchen. Jason. Yes, Marco. You are without doubt one of the most charming men that's ever crossed my path. Thanks, Marco. And you work very hard and you try very hard. Thank you. Had you not had so many main courses sent back, yeah. it may have been you going back to the kitchen and Nancy going back to Chelsea. I just had to listen a little bit more. I just missed out. And even when it was all going wrong, <laughs> yeah. you were still smiling. I tried to and keep still serving. Yeah, well. It's been a great pleasure. Thanks, Thank Marco. Thank you. Thanks a minute. Of loss, but not in a democratic way. To describe Marco's kitchen burnout is really easy. When he says, Welcome to my chamber of horror, he means it. And that is exactly what Marco's kitchen burnout is. It's a really charming torture. Next week, actor Alex Ferns. I've never experienced anything like in my life. TV presenter Carol Smiley. Oh my God, I've burned my soup, I've burned my soup! Oh. And astrologer Russell Grant. Just don't care, I find the whole thing overwhelming. Face the heat in Kitchen Burnout. Look what I've done, I've caught fire here.